Hello, this is Philip, and welcome to my channel for this new episode of KOS. Today uh, we'll talk about a very common uh, instruction in the world of programming. Uh, it is uh, the conditional instruction if then, and you can add else. Uh, this is a conditional instru instruction because uh, the syntax is if some condition here and uh, if that condition is true then uh, I will run not I but KOS uh, runs uh, the code number one and uh, if the condition is not true so if the condition is false, so else, KOS runs instead code number two. And that's all. You, you, you are going to use uh, that uh, conditional instructions in your, in your code sooner or later. So um, for example, here, uh, it is always the same uh, code. Uh, I want to start come down. I uh, activate the first stage for uh, uh, ignite uh, the, the booster. Then I release the clamps. And then when the uh, uh, vertical speed is less than uh, negative five, I uh, activate the shoot. And uh, imagine now I want to test if the shoot are deployed or not. So test shoot. This is a new function. And uh, in this function, I, I use that uh, if condition. Uh, I will uh, write that te test shoot function in my script during flight. So it's a global uh, function, uh, test shoot. Um, I want to uh, wait uh, time, maybe uh, three seconds, I know. And uh, now I want to test a condition. I want to test if my shoot had, had been deployed uh, or not. If this is the case, so my vertical speed is uh, quite uh, low. I think that I can use, and I'm, I think, no, I'm sure because I have tested my code, but, <laughs> but um, if vertical speed is less than negative uh, four, then I I can say that uh, the shoot is not deployed yes, yet because my vertical speed is, is uh, less than negative four. That means that my uh, craft is still falling down uh, with a relatively high velocity. Uh, so I can print a shoot not deployed yet. For example, okay, and uh, we print an empty line here, okay, and uh, else that means that if this condition is false, that means if the vertical speed is greater than negative four, that means that the shoot had been deployed. So print shoot uh, deployed, and uh, just for fun, I can print then uh, the uh, velocity of uh, my uh, ship. So I can print uh, a vertical velocity, uh, the vertical speed is, so this is a text, uh, I use the quote characters, uh, vertical speed is, and I want to add to this sentence the value of the vertical speed. So I add the plus sign and uh, the value of the vertical speed, right, okay. Uh, I think that is all. No, I, I want this uh, weight three. Uh, I want it to be an, a parameter. Uh, so uh, let's say I want to wait the waiting time. Okay. So waiting time is a parameter. And uh, I want that parameter to be optional. So waiting time is Three. The default value is three. If I want to uh, wait more or less than three, I have to add it inside my uh, function. Uh, just to say, global 
means that the function test shoot, activate shoot, do stage, uh, those three functions are global. I can uh, use them inside other scripts. The, the parameter here is inside the uh, curve bracket here. So it's inside definition of my function. That means the uh, waiting time parameter is a local variable. Uh, it doesn't exist outside function. Here, if I put print waiting time, you see it doesn't exist. There is a, 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 a warning here. Symbol waiting time may not exist, and it does not exist outside that function. So you can uh, use the same uh, name here. You see that parameter something here and something here. Those two uh, variables are not the same. They have the same name, but they are not the same because uh, this variable here is local to that function and that variable here is local to that function. Okay, so this is my uh, test shoot function. I uh, wait a uh, waiting time. If the vertical speed is less than negative 4, then the shoot is, has not been deployed yet, else the shoot had been deployed. Okay, uh, now we can test this. So test shoot. If I don't write anything inside the brackets, that means that the uh, default value th three will be uh, used. So let's see test shoot uh, one time and test shoot a second time. And why not test shoot a third time? And this time, uh, this time I will wait five seconds. Okay, that's it. Um, my ship is already waiting for me, so <laughs> let's go. Uh, here so I have already um, put CD0 missions to say I want to um, use my test script inside folder 0 and the folder missions. So I, I'm running this script directly from uh, the, uh, the archive folder. Run test, so uh, let's go. 3, 2, 1 is the countdown, ignition, and we are going up, lift off, yeah. So the speed velocity is uh, positive for now, and it is going down, staging, and now let's see, should not deploy it yet, still not deployed yet, waiting 5 seconds, and now the shoot is deployed. The vertical speed is uh, negative 3.588. Look at this uh, velocity here. The speed is uh, 3.4. It is the uh, vertical speed. Okay, one land last thing. I, I don't want all uh, those digits here. So uh, just a little change to my program here. Uh, so that works. And uh, here, just to show you what you can do, here uh, you can say that you want to round that number uh, and to uh, keep only the two uh, first digits of the decimal part of that number. So I can write round vertical speed, comma two. That means that I want to keep only two digits uh, in the decimal part. I, I can keep only 0 or 1, 2, 8, whatever it is. But uh, here I want a 2. Uh, it's more than sufficient. And I can add uh, a text uh, after that. So plus, plus sign, and uh, with the quote characters, meters per second. Vertical speed is the number, and following by, uh, uh, followed by, followed by uh, meter per second. OK, uh, I will uh, close this uh, window, back to the game, and uh, I have to revert flight. OK, I have to uh, write again uh, zero uh, missions. This is annoying, is that it? Uh, don't panic with the boot file. We will uh, be able to, uh, to do all of this automatically. So tests and let's go. Three, two, mission.
Wie ist das? Okay, which is going up. Vertical speed is going up, then vertical speed is going down, down to zero. It's negative, shoot activated. We are tested, not deployed yet. Not deployed yet. And after five seconds, it is now deployed and the vertical speed is three, negative 3.22. This is number. Uh, be careful, that number is uh, it's the value of the vertical speed at the precise moment uh, where the, the print is used, when the print uh, function is used. Uh, more precisely, uh, during the physics, ticks, uh, physics tick when the print uh, value uh, is used. Two more uh, things about uh, the if uh, condition here. Um, you don't have to uh, write the then. This is the first uh, thing. You don't have to write the then. It is Im implied uh, in this first part of the code. If the condition is true, the first part of the code uh, is uh, read by KOS. If this uh, condition is false, if this is not true, then uh, KOS doesn't read this and it, uh, it it reads that part okay it read the it reads the else part that is the first thing second thing you can uh, add more uh, more conditions here for example i want uh, the vertical speed to be uh, less than uh, negative 4 and maybe uh, i want another condition for example and uh, vertical speed greater than 10 because the negative 10 because I don't need to uh, test my shoot if the vertical speed is uh, to um, uh, it's a, a too big number in the negative number if uh, the vertical speed is negative 50 I know that my shoot will not be deployed so I don't have to uh, uh, to test that um, uh, here you don't test that code because here it it won't work <laughs> as I want uh, because of the of the else. But uh, just the the meaning of that is to I, I want just to uh, to say that you can use an and condition. That means that that condition is true if both conditions here and here are true at the same time. Uh, you can use the keyword or. That means that you can uh, test if the uh, vertical speed is less than negative 4 or vertical speed, speed less uh, greater than negative 10. That means that the uh, entire condition is true if either one of uh, those conditions is true. The first one or the second one. It can be the, the both of them, but only one. Uh, it's, uh, it's enough to have one condition true um, if you are testing numbers you can test if uh, vertical speed is less than negative 4 you can test if it's greater than negative 4 if it's equal than negative 4 you can say also less or equal greater or equal and to finish you can say different too and different you see it's uh, the two signs here okay that was the uh, last thing and now maybe you are wondering uh, where does vertical speed come from? Where did I get that uh, name, uh, that variable? Uh, I answer that question in the next episode because in the next episode I'll show you uh, how to uh, read the KOS documentation and how to have access to that uh, keywords, to that uh, variables, very important for all your missions and uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you soon bye bye